Welcome to Invention Africa. I'm Quincy, and this is the show where we try to bring you guys impact and leave you with a hopeful message in under five minutes. Today, I'm joined by Silebo He is an entrepreneur, and I'm so appreciative of his time and him just sharing his knowledge with us today. I'm going to jump straight into question one, um, if you don't mind, Silebo and that is, you know, what have you reinvented during the pandemic? How we collect capital. Um, and it's in the form of community capital, and it's it's in how it doesn't matter where you are geographically, you can participate in economic opportunities. And what we've simply done is help the average black person to participate in the franchising industry, fast food franchising industry to be specific. And they are shareholders now, they're owners of stores, regardless of where they are. And the platform is transparent, so they can see everything that is going on, and they're able to participate and support accordingly. You know, you had me at ownership in Africa, so I'm down with whatever that is. <laughs> Question two, which is, having said all of that, what are you going to I think the spirit of innovation is centered around collaboration for a lot of people now and people get it. I mean, we've been preaching collaboration being the new innovation for a couple of years now, but the pandemic has forced us to get into a space where entrepreneurship is digitized and the opportunity to collaborate and to meet with other people and to work with other people is far more intensive and um, like there's this intense culture right now that's being driven whether you are in corporate you're a corporate decision maker or you're an entrepreneur you're forced to engage with other people and you're not used to that culture but i mean they've been preaching about for i have forever and all of these things but all of a sudden we are now in the stage where we must participate in conversations and we must do something together, whether we like it or not. And that's for our survival. And I think that's a beautiful thing for humanity because it's long overdue. We should have been working for, together for a long time. Ago. 